Hey guys and welcome back to the RuneScape video and for this video I'm going to be doing the next episode of our flipping series from 5 mil to 1 bill. It has been a couple of weeks since I posted the last video about these episodes and you will be seeing them more often so I hope some of you guys have been waiting for these episodes. You're going to see them more often now so let's get started. Probably the biggest change since my last episode is now we have 8 grand exchange slots. Before we only had 6 so hopefully our profit's going to be a lot wider now. We can flip so many more things, so let's get started. Today I'm starting off with 129 million, or well, slightly over 129 million. So 129 million, 172,697. I am going to aim for well over 10 million this time in this episode, and I'm going to see how that goes. I'm going to start off by flipping the Ascension crossbows, just because I want to get the bigger items done with. And with the Ascension crossbows, you can usually get slightly under 1 million at the moment. I remember before you could easily get like well over 2 million but now it's going down and down and down. So I'm going to aim for about 1 million on the ascension crossbows which is definitely a great starter because if we can flip all 4 ascension crossbows, that's 2 off hands and 2 main hands, we're already 4 million in. So I'm going to move on to the dry gores, which is basically our leftover cash because we only have 129 million which means that 110 million will be on the ascension crossbow, that's what is at the moment. And then the rest of the cast, which works out to be about slightly under 20 million, we can buy a Drygore and maybe like a smaller item from the flip chat one friends chat. So I will talk about it later on also, but that will get us started. Just so you all know, the whole video in itself today has only taken me around 13 minutes. What I've done also is I've woken up, I put in these offers, and now the last clip is going to be just before I go to bed which means that this is going to be a whole day's worth of flipping. Now also keep in mind that the video in itself is only 13 minutes. What that means is that everything I've done for the money in this episode has only taken me 13 minutes to get because I'm basically most of the time waiting which means that I can always just go away somewhere, I can always go with my family, I can always do something else in RuneScape and come back which means that in total the money I do make in this episode is just 13 minutes worth of work which could easily make it like the best money making method in the game um, because I am going to be looking for over 10 million profit and it always takes about 30 minutes for the whole recording for each episode which is really awesome. So that's one of the reasons why I also love flipping because it's such little time and overall it's so easy. So the Ascension Crossbow took about 29 minutes to buy and one of the reasons why I love flipping Ascension Crossbows is because they're really easy to buy. It probably took me about 10 minutes and the reason why I know that is because I'm always in a friend chat so for the ascension crossbows for the offhand dry gores, for example or for the main dry gores, and also for the seismics you know some other items also you can join 90 webs space pc friend chat there will be the name in the description down below and a quick find code to the forum page which means that you can always just quickly keep up to date with those items you can always have it to the side of your computer or what I love to do is just write down the prices every couple of hours and that kind of allows me to find the best prices to flip with. But also keep in mind that if your items don't buy, just either wait or slightly raise the price. I would say that after about 30 minutes, if an item seems like there's no chance to buy because you're looking in the friend's shed and everyone else is buying and selling higher than your price or lower than your price, then it means that maybe it's time to change your price or just wait until the price goes up. Personally, what I just love to do is because I don't stand around the Grand Exchange whilst making these episodes, I barely realise that much time has gone past. So whilst I'm waiting for like the Ascension Crossbow to buy for about 30 minutes, I am off and about, you know, I'm not really sitting here, so the 30 minutes that it does take to buy seems to be really short. Which another great thing also is that whilst you're flipping, you can always do like another money making method on the side. What I love to do is the Queen Black Dragon because the trips in itself take like a couple minutes sometimes. So you can always just do that, quickly come back to the Grand Exchange with the Lodestone or you know, wherever the Grand Exchange is for you, either for Varrock or Pifteenus. And then you can go back to like the KBD or the Queen Black Dragon I was on about. You can always just go back with the Lodestone once again and it takes like seconds. So that's something great to have in mind also. Don't feel like because you're flipping you can never do something on the side. And that's something many people get a bit confused about. You know, They don't really think that, hey, I can do a couple of things at the same time. No, you can always do so many things at the same time. I'm actually doing like farm runs sometimes, you know, five minutes here, five minutes there. It makes a lot more money whilst doing that and it's less boring also. 
Moving on now down the line in my episodes, this is about halfway through my day now. I have moved on into flipping tons and tons of Flipchat One items with my spare cash that is not on the Ascension crossbow. And something I love about these items, which is from the Flipchat One French chat, that will be in the description down below, um, is that they take seconds to buy sometimes. I have currently got seven items, I think, in the Grand Exchange, and six of them bought in under five minutes, just so that everything basically bought right there. And because I can make about 100,000 plus most of the time, I'm looking at easily um, about one, two, three, four, five, six, 600,000 from those items that bought in under five minutes. And coming back every five minutes, like after a farm run and that how much has bought, you know, you've made money from your farm run, then you made like 700,000 here. And those are really amazing items to flip. One of the most suggested items I would suggest is to quickly do all these items right at the beginning of your day. You can flip every single Flipchat one item, maybe in maybe about an hour, but obviously it doesn't take a whole hour, you know, back and forth, it would probably take an hour. Well, which basically means you can make about four to five million, sometimes even more, from just doing those items. And then you can make maybe um, three to four million on Ascension crossbows. Those kind of things are really handy. What I've also decided to do is quickly just finish off the Flipchat one items and cancel out my Ascension crossbow and leave that later on. Because I knew that I wouldn't be going away from the from the computer for quite a while, so I decided to just do fast flipping items, and then whilst I'm knowing that I'm going to be away for maybe an hour, then I put in my ascension crossbow, which could be actually a really good tip for some of you guys. And just finishing up throughout my day, this is the last basically few items I flipped. I flipped a third age item, which I actually don't do often. And I really want to post a video about flipping third age items and posting a guide about it. So if you guys want to watch a guide, don't forget to comment that down below. I really want to know how many people want to watch a guide. And then I'll kind of figure out if I should do it sooner or later. So post that down below. And I also finished up flipping my dry gores. Actually, I was quite surprised that some of these dry gores made me more money than I expected which for me was a huge surprise anyways. So I will definitely be thinking about a third age flipping video because it's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And I know that you can actually make millions. From that third age range chop, I made three million profit. And it was basically just like a chance. You know, I was putting in the dry gores. I knew that those were gonna take maybe an hour to buy. And then I was like, what should I do with my spare cash? Because there isn't that many more dry gores to flip so like where should I put my cash and then I put it into third age range top and surprisingly it bought for like loads and loads cheaper than the guide price and then it sold for 3 million profit and I was really surprised. So thanks guys for watching I actually finished off with about 141 million slightly over that almost reaching 142 million and I made well over 12 million so I'm actually really happy about that. So thanks guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please just post them down below. If you do want to watch that third age range flipping video, just comment that down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Peace out.